I'm Harry Berman and I'm the group leader of the Algorithms and Complexity Group here at CWI that focuses on quantum algorithms and quantum computing. So the main question that the Algorithms and Complexity Group looks at is the question what can you compute efficiently on a computer and more specifically on a quantum computer and what can you not compute efficiently on a classical or a quantum computer. So QSoft is a research center that looks at this question that I just described. And I started QSoft in 2015, basically because I noticed that a lot of the focus on in quantum computing was on building the hardware and not a whole lot of effort was put into the software. And so the time is now to also focus on quantum software. I'm Stacy Jeffrey and I'm a senior researcher in the Algorithms and Complexity Group at CWI. I joined in January 2017. And I was very happy to get a position here because this is one of the leading centers for quantum uh, computer science in all of Europe and actually in the world. What attracted me to this group was the people. Some of the best people in the field are working right here at CWI. Some of the earliest, most important results in uh, the theory of quantum computing come from this group. And it's really exciting for me to be a part of that mid-90s, I went to a lecture on quantum computing, which by then was really a new topic. I'd never heard of it. And I was immediately in love with what happened there. While exploring this paradigm of quantum computing, I, I found out that it connects with many, many other disciplines in mathematics, computer science, but also physics, chemistry, and even biology. For years, Harry Berman and his group at CWI has been pioneering research in theoretical computer science aspects of quantum information, growing into perhaps the most dynamic group of research in Europe for this discipline. It's really interesting to work on quantum computing as a topic because it's very theoretical, but at the same time it will, at some point in the future, have really big practical implications. One of the applications of a quantum computer is it can break cryptography, and so this has a big impact on society because it has to shield itself against this quantum computer. Other impacts are that, for example, we will be able to simulate nature finally on a computer, and this may potentially lead to, for example, new drug design or new material design. And this also shows that it's so important to found and to fund um, foundational research that does not have applications immediately, but that on, in the long run potentially have very many uh, applications. By no means do you do this science alone or does your group alone solve a certain problem. You really have to work closely together with the groups in other countries and uh, around the world. Especially you feel that more as the field is growing. Now there are many groups in the world who care about quantum computing and some of the frontline work is being done right here. So that's something exciting to be a part of to know that you're kind of the first to see some of the, the groundbreaking results that will be read about in different groups around the world in, in their you know, local reading groups over the next months. <laughs>